What's up, fam? It's Friday. Biking downtown. I'm gonna go meet up with Jason. He wanted to hang out, so sounds good. Uh, waiting outside. You can see the traffic. It's way better than last year. I don't know if you guys remember that one random clip. But yeah, we went over to this basil box thing. It's just after his work, so he's hungry, and I'm like, yeah, oh, fuck it, why not? Here's some snow. That was like, oh, just kind of crazy to see that much snow and it's not sticking still. But anyways, we're uh, gonna go see Ready Player One at uh, Scotia Bank, and uh, I'm kind of into Ready Player One. Like, I listened to the audiobook, so went in with like sort of low expectations because of the book honestly it's not that great it's kind of got some cringe moments which are, are still in here there's uh the dancing part in the book is definitely like oh i don't know guys i don't know if this is gonna translate onto the screen very well and, you know they actually did a better job than i was expecting and uh there are definitely some differences from the book and the movie like uh he's trying to find like it's, it's like a treasure hunt basically right and the first step is different from what's in the book I kind of like what's in the book more and there's of course there's a lot of references to like oh here's kind of this bike from Akira they specifically call that out and they have the DeLorean everywhere there's Gundams Iron Giant just a bunch of stuff going on but yeah overall it's a fun movie I enjoyed watching it but like Again, it is one of those movies where it's like, don't think about it too hard. Just <laughs> just go in and be like, yeah, here you go. Kind of sets up uh, unrealistic expectations for VR. Because in my experience, it's more like if you join a chat room, it's just a bunch of sweaty dudes playing as anime girls. Yeah, and that was that day.